Imagine a Pope who was a scholar, a scientist, and possibly a sorcerer. Intriguing, isn't it? Enter Pope Sylvester II, also known as Gerbert of Orillac. From 999 to 1003, he served as the pontiff, leaving an indelible mark on the church. His passion for science and education set him apart from his contemporaries, making him a standout figure in the 10th century. But the mystery deepens as we delve further into his life. Pope Sylvester II, unlike many of his predecessors and successors, was a man of science. He was a scholar with a fiery passion for knowledge, a thirst he quenched by delving into the world of numbers and calculations. He introduced the decimal system to Europe, a mathematical concept so profound it would shape the course of commerce and trade for centuries to come. Furthermore, he developed an early form of the abacus, a tool that enhanced the calculation abilities of his time. His love for learning transcended personal gains, leading him to establish schools all over Europe. This move revolutionized the church's approach to education, fostering a culture of enlightenment and intellectual curiosity. Yet amidst these accomplishments, whispers of the supernatural clung to his name. Rumors circulated that Pope Sylvester II had a dark secret. He was a sorcerer. Whispers of his occult practices spread like wildfire, the most infamous tale being his alleged pact with the devil. This unholy alliance, many claimed, was the source of his extraordinary intellect and abilities. Yet these stories remain shrouded in the mystery of history, leaving us to ponder. So was Pope Sylvester II a man of science or a practitioner of the arcane arts? Or perhaps was he a blend of both, a testament to the complex tapestry that is human nature?